nothing dreams about falling in love I feel so real but nobody is here when I wake up do you know my name the devil's in the detail I'm a natural born killer Sleeping a vampire bed of lies I'll burn it this day, can I do it twice? Hard as it is to stay alive Don't know if I'm ready for the night Dark circles, bruised purple, my grip is tight I'm inking my goosebumps, my pulse is spiked Hard as it is to stay alive You give and you take all of my time Laying on my face on the sink, I don't know what to think I could, I could, I don't know where to go And the going is tough and I'm all alone Choosing to live in a blurry world I got comfortable living with her Didn't think it got worse, but it didn't And made my hate go Welcome to my
What a great night for hockey, along with Ray Ferraro and Carlin Bade. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to tonight's broadcast from EA Sports. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Great night for hockey. You can smell the popcorn in the air, and the puck is dropped. And that pass doesn't go. Poked away. Crosby's got something bothering him here. He doesn't really look like he's 100% as he tries to finish his shift. Pass to five. Showing a lot of heart here. It takes a lot of courage and gumption to finish a shift when you're injured. We hope that he's okay. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Cincinnati's gained possession along the boards. Two on one. What an opportunity here. The Cyclones take possession in the defensive end. And sends it just out of reach. Taken along the wall by Bob. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised. He was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Pass across to Cheek. Scooped up along the wall by Carson. Here's a chance. On the left side, moves it up ahead. Devastating hit on the play. James, sometimes you can hear the hit. That one, you felt it. And that's broken up. We've got icing on the play. Face off coming up. Still lots of time left in the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Swoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. Quick shot! Oh, a clutch save! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Can't make the connection on the pass. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Stretches one out to five. And he takes a shot! Gets a piece of it with the trapper! Puck picked up by LeClaire. Quick feed to Boomer. Takes the feed at the point. Moves the puck more to the middle. Puts it on net. And that's blocked in traffic. Puck scooped up by Carson. Tries to feed it over to Boomer. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Kopaka's got it in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Cyclones have it from their own end. Tries to the crease. Grabs the puck in the corner. Put it off the post. Well past the midway mark of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Montreal's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Estes. Makes it look easy with the stop. The play continues. He makes the save, but keeps it alive as the puck's in the corner. Takes the feed. They've got the defense outnumbered. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Woo -hoo! All the face Estes is going to have to ignore the crowd here for the rest of the night. He was involved in that controversial play earlier in the game, which led to the injury for the home player. They're not going to stop booing him tonight. Parsons got the puck. Here he is for the slot. They score.
You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Boomer's got it along the wing. Feeds it down low. Takes the puck behind the net. Gotcha! Low. Oh! Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the board. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Cyclones have taken a 1-0 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Cincinnati's won the faceoff. Oh, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. The Americans scoop it up along the boards. To the low slot! Great save from in tight. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed along with the teams. We're ready to get things underway. And with that, the clock is ticking here on period number two. Ray Ferraro's between the benches. Razor, give me a sense of how you see things so far. The Americans' coaches can only hope that their guys found the start time for the second period better than they did for the first. They barely had the clock in that opening 20 minutes, and they're trailing the game as a result. Intercepted in the offensive end by Carson. Taken by Crosby. And that's knocked away by LeClaire. Quick pass to five. And called for the offside. We're going to face off. Lots of time left in this period. Cincinnati's up one zip. Montreal's won the draw. They'll go to work. Gets his stick on it. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Keeps hold of the puck. Trying to exit the defensive zone. Stopped with ease. Cincinnati's got the puck along the wall. Way too much congestion blocks that. Cincinnati's on the attack. And now he angles it across to Boomer. The Cyclones will play it from the corner. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Cincinnati's got it and they're on the attack. Quick pass to Cheek. Cincinnati's got the puck here in the open ice. Cuts into the paint! Scores! That's 400 goals in the EASHL! That's Ferraro country now! Yeah, you're getting into some big numbers here. I mean, that was a pretty cool deal. 
when I scored my 400th goal, it felt like a success number to my career, and that's what he'll feel like too. This is a really big number to achieve. Guys, this is a huge milestone for this player here. 400th career goal in the EASHL clubs. You know he's going to be proud of this one. Pass broken up. Cincinnati's got possession of the puck. Three on one opportunity. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Boomer's known for getting in as tight as he can to the net to score, guys. His close quarter zone ability is that notoriously accurate shot when he's so close to the cage. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Estes. Poked away in the neutral zone by Carson. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Quick feed down low. Montreal's got the puck. Here they come on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, read it perfectly. What a save. And somehow he hangs on. Tried to pick a spot, but that goes off the side of the net. Too much congestion in front. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Uh, the defenders can regroup right now. That's a long time they've been chasing the puck around in their zone. They look like they've got nothing left in the tank. Montreal's won the draw. And the puck leaves the zone. Poked away at center by Vive. Sends it in front. And that's deflected off someone in front. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. The player's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Niedermeyer's looking to help the power play unit strike here, guys. Let's see if he can use his zone ability to help them get a good look here. Montreal's got it in the offensive zone. Center and feed. Misses. Cincinnati's got the puck shorthanded. And there's the save. They are really tired in here tonight. Oh, wow, another great save. That's picked up by the D. Trying to get it out of the loop in. And they succeed in getting it out. Cincinnati's got the puck against the boards. Boomer's got it in the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Vi. And now it's grabbed by Estes. McClure's ready to go. Leclerc's back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Montreal's got possession here in the neutral zone. Denied by the goaltender. Parsons lugging the puck. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Scores! And look like that bounced off the defender and into the net. Cincinnati's offensive volcano continues to erupt here in the second period. They look like a juggernaut. They're running into the second intermission with a large lead. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Who's the puck? On man rush. Estes works the puck in his own zone. Taken by Carson. And here's a pass to five. Poked away in the neutral zone by Estes. Here's a chance. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. On the attack into the offensive end. Right up and up. Already stopped that one. That is a good save, James. But usually when he gets the puck in that position, it's money. This time turned away. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next.
Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. You know you love to hear Ray Ferraro's takes, and he is between ice level with his assessment of the first two periods. Montreal's wasted a lot of their effort so far. They haven't gotten into the inside of Not the ice this game, time. so while they seem to be fine in the game, he scores! Lights the lamp on the one-timer! Cincinnati's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. They put the puck into the offensive end. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Play is blown dead with the offside. Lots of time left in this period. Cincinnati's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. Montreal's won the draw. Sends a pass over. And that slides right out to center ice. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Cincinnati's got a hold of it along the wall. Pass it up ahead. Estes' vision brings everybody into the play. When he's got the puck, everyone on the ice is somewhat dangerous. Can't get it to go. Chance in front. And scores! What an opportunity and delivers! The Cyclones continue to wrap up the goals here in this third period. They can do no wrong. It doesn't seem to matter who's on the ice. They're the better team. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Moves it to Estes. And that's poked away by Vine. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Cincinnati's putting on one of their most impressive offensive displays we've seen in a while. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Here they come on the attack. Feeds it over on the rush. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Boom! There's a hit. You throw a hit like he did earlier in the game. It's no secret. The target gets on your back. Eventually, they find him. Montreal's won the draw. Slides the puck down low. Picked off by Kopaka. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. And he denied that opportunity. Case can sit back and enjoy the large lead. He hasn't had much to do. Cincinnati's got it in their own zone. Puck picked up by Estes. Here we go, three on one. Not this time. Larceny on that side. And it's in the back of the net. They do it again. This is almost pylon, and the fans, I think, are about had it here. It's terrible to be on the ice playing because everything you do is the wrong thing. It's also no good to sit up in the stands. You're like, I got to keep watching this? Man, what a rotten night. They tell you it doesn't have to hit the back of the net. It's just got to get over the goal line for it to count. That one does. The goalie had a big chunk of it. Just not enough. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And we'll reset things after that icing. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Inside the offensive zone. LeClaire's got it in the corner. Montreal's got the puck behind the net. He tries to tuck it in. What a stop. Scores! That's three! I had nine of these games. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Vi. In all alone! Oh, Ray, what a play! The defender comes 
right back and swipes this play away before it's a real dangerous chance. Moves into the slot. And he rings the post. He scores. No late. They're pulling it off immediately here. Yeah, now they'll have to talk and decide whether this is going to count or not. Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this face-off. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he takes the feed. Big save in front. Great A chance right in the middle of the ice, and the goaltender makes the stop. Moves the puck down low. Sends it down low. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get it deep. Got a chase now. Skates in behind the cage. The Cyclones gain possession along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. They get a pair on a two-on-one. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. That flat-out reaction, James. That puck is coming at the goaltender from the low slot. There's not much. good to get on the board to show that you're able to help your new team you want to show them that you're ready to play he's on the board he'll feel better now guys this is actually his first goal with this club and you know his teammates are going to be just as stoked as he is on this one lots more to see from this player right here montreal's got it in the neutral zone oh hello what a collision yeah that's not a collision that's one player delivering a solid body check to another he's known for this if you have your head down for just a second look out officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway the americans win the face off and we'll get a breather here with offside the call Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Great poke check on the reach. And he coughs it up with the pass. He scores! And he is having a night tonight! Sometimes the puck just follows you around and you can't score. Tonight, every time it lands on the stick, it's in the back of the net. What a great night. Centers jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Trying to clear the zone. Here we go. On man rush here. Tries to the sweet spot. He scores. He can't miss tonight. Unbelievable to get this many chances, but to be able to put the ball away. Cincinnati's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. The Americans will play it in their own end. Montreal's looking to swing the puck behind the net. Comes in front. Scores. Wow. Man, you've said that. with this guy. It's like every time he gets on the ice, the puck ends up in the back of the net. What a night. This is where I got a lot of my goals, James. He can't fiddle around with the puck there. On the stick, off the stick, and it's in the cage. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Poked away at center. Oh! Him. Now he's got his head up, and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. The Americans win the face-up. Well, a tough night getting even tougher. 
suffer these final seconds as the fans letting them know this was unacceptable. Here he is in front. Nice save from point blank range. to drop the mitts. Here you go. was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. I'll tell you why I don't like this fight. I get that he's frustrated, but my feet are sore. I've been standing down here for two and a half hours. <laughs> How does it impact us? Those are the real questions we ask here. Well, both teams seem to be a little calmer now after a pretty chaotic stretch just a few moments ago. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Impressive display after laying down the gauntlet. You think they were cherry-picking here? Uh, maybe a little bit, but you lay a challenge down, you better be ready to follow through on it, and they were. When all the punches land
Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. It is so easy to feel the energy in this building tonight. Both teams should feed off it, and it should be a great matchup. Glad you could join us. Still scoreless in this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Ovechkin's crossed the line and came the zone. Broken up with a stick. Cincinnati's gained possession along the boards. St. John's moves it quickly along the wing. And that caroms off a body in traffic. won the draw and they'll go on the attack and he puts that one aside with ease Ovechkin's teammates love setting him up for a signature one-timer guys that's his 1T zone ability and it's that shot that can overpower goalies and find the back of the net takes the pass here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone Made the stop on that play. Here's a short pass to... Scores! They're on the board early. Yeah, there's also a lot of people not in their seats yet. Man, that was quick. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Thomas has won the draw here in the neutral zone. Can't make it work. Cincinnati's got a hold of it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. St. John gains a hold of it. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Vi. Oh, just puts it wide of the net. Uh, trying to be a little fine with it. This is a good goaltender. You know you have to make a really great shot to beat him. But he just fires it wide. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Across the line along the left wall. St. John's moves ahead with the puck. Quick feed to Estes. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Cincinnati's got the puck in their own end. Grabs the puck. Drives it to the crease. Gives them nothing in front. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. Estes quick on the draw. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Centering pass! And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. From a bad angle. Cincinnati's really grinding on this game. They want to get this game back to even. But that shot off the post will help them. Looks to start the transition game behind the net. And he takes the feed. Misses! He's looking shot right away. I mean, it's not going to be one because he misses the net. But he has a dangerous chance to develop there. Well, stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. To his teammate. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? The misfits play the puck from the back of the net. Pushes it across to 
of Hoomer. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick pass to Estes. The Cyclones gain control of the puck against the wall. And a good save on the play as action continues. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident he's got most of the net cover. He slides across to make the save. Scores! That's four! some big numbers here. I mean, that was a pretty cool deal. When I scored my 400th goal, it felt like a success number to my career, and that's what he'll feel like, too. This is a really big number to achieve. Guys, this is a huge milestone for this player here. 400th career goal in the EASHL clubs. You know he's going to be proud of this one. Passes the puck over to Ovechkin. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Estes plays it now. Takes that pass back at the point. Here we go, two on one. Comes up with a monster save in front. No room for the shooter, the goaltender snuffed it out. Poked away at center by Estes. St. John gains a hold of possession. Hangs onto the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Puck scooped up by Ralph. Here they come on the rush. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. The Misfits have the go-ahead goal. What's the approach now? Shouldn't change at all, James, because there's too much time left. Be aggressive and try and stretch the lead to two. Unloads from the blue line. Here he is on the backhand. He scores! Oh, now they can go into this intermission, James. They've got to feel great about themselves. They tally so late in this period. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. things underway. Here we go, second period underway. We're still tied, but let's see if somebody can open things up here. Cincinnati's looking to break out of their own end. Puck grab by Estes. St. John's has it in the defensive end. Locks him. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Thomas has won the faceoff. Moves it to Estes. Pumps the puck in. St. John's takes possession of the puck. Pumps it away here in the neutral zone. Takes the puck. Boomer's got the puck in his own zone. It's a 2 on the goaltender. Cincinnati's won the draw in the neutral zone. Hey to the middle! Oh, he comes up with a stop! St. 
Johns is on the attack. From a tight angle, throws it on net. And a solid save there as we play on. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. And some physicality here. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. There's the whistle icing the call. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Cincinnati's got a one goal lead. Estes takes possession right off the draw. You don't spend much time in your zone if you can win the draw like that. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Handles the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. And he's able to handle that one. Oh, and another big stop. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. And it's taken by the defense. And it's going to stop. And that doesn't go as it's blocked. And the defense come away with it here. And finally, they get it out of the road end. And here they go in transition. Connect on the play. Can't get it to go. Here's a chance in front. And it carries off a twig in front of the net. Picked up along the wall by Estes. And makes the save. Burns is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looks like the team is starting to become unraveled. Past the halfway mark of this period, Cincinnati's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Thomas has it in their own end. Slick feed. Quick feed to Boomer. And now it's over to five. St. John skins a hold of the puck against the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Misfits have it in the offensive zone. From against the wall, it's centered out. And now it's grabbed by Ovechkin. Flailing out with a stick to try to get control. Quick feed down low. Moves with the puck in the corner. Centering pass! Picked off in front. And that pass doesn't go. Cincinnati's got the puck along the wall. Wow, the home team is really under pressure and the fans know it. Here's the pass to the half wall. Here's it up. Here in the late goings of the period, Cincinnati's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Estes has won the draw inside his own end. Cincinnati's looking to break out. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. And that's broken up. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Play whistle dead offside the call. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Thomas wins it. Nice feed. The Misfits played along the boards. He grabs the puck here at the point. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. Another stop by the goaltender. Taken by Ralph. Sends it quickly to Ovechkin. Puck picked up by Estes. And he easily stops that one. The goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go. At least for now, right? Third period just around the corner.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Misfits have 20 minutes left to overcome that one goal deficit. And their roadmap has to be just to continue to play the way they have. They've had the puck the whole time. Just here they are. They sit a goal short. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we're sitting. The Misfits win it. You could be a little more aggressive here. You know the other team. Scores! And look who it is! His first goal with this new EASHL team. The excitement that he displays when that puck goes into the net, you know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. Guys, this is his first goal with this club here, and you know you never forget your first goal. I'm sure his teammates aren't going to forget it either. Puck picked up in the open ice. Cincinnati's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Can't make the connection on the pass. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And that doesn't reach the net. Puck scooped up by Ralph. Now a quick pass to Ovechkin. Backhander in front. And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Lots of time left in this period. St. John's leads by one. Poked away in the neutral zone by Estes. And the puck banks off the glove. Burns opts to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Misfits win the draw. Oh, there was some TNT with that collision there. Yeah, that wasn't just going to run somebody out of the plate. He's known for this. If he's got an opportunity to blow somebody up, he's going to do it. That was a big hit. Grabbed along the boards by Vi. Denies him in front. Slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile even though you're covering the bottom of the net. Burns gobbles up the puck and he'll wait for the whistle. Oh, now you got a chance to get organized again. The freezing is a good safe play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. St. John's leads it 4-3. Cincinnati's won the draw and they'll go to work. Trying to shake loose. He scores! Oh, that was gorgeous! Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Estes wins it in the dots. Broken up at center by Ovechkin. Big hit on the play. He's not missed many of these. Every time he gets the puck, they seem to target him, and he's not been able to elude anybody. Couldn't make the connection on the play. That goes wide. St. John's tries to break out from their own end. Plays the puck up ahead. Ovechkin's night's been about perfect. He's got three goals already. He's looking for another one. Every time you turn around, there's another goal. Your throat's got to be getting sore with all these goal calls. I love it. The more wild and unpredictable the game, the more fun it is for the fans to watch. They've really got him on their heels here now. St. John's gets the puck near the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. 
Somewhere. <laughs> Cincinnati's got the puck in the defensive end. Tries to the paint. Denies him. Burns is working hard in there trying to stop the puck. Man, it's been an adventure. The thing must look like a P to him tonight. But that's a good stop. And his team's got a good lead. Close save and the play continues. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Can't pull the trigger. Grabs the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here. From the open ice. Go on the bench. Sorry, James. That sounded big. I have to tell you, that was a large hit. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Goalie keeps the play alive. Stoppage and play offside the call. Estes gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. St. John's is across the line and in the offensive zone. Stones up with the blocker. The Cyclones get a hold of the puck under man. Moves it quickly over to Estes. St. John's takes possession along the wall. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Couldn't make that one happen. Picked up along the board. To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers, you're dealing with the line matchup, and it doesn't matter where you are, three is a great night. The setters will glide into the dot. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. From the neutral zone now. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Oh, great save right there on the play. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Cincinnati's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Don't mind the idea, but it doesn't work. Now you got a chase. Taken along the wall by Thomas. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Ovechkin's going to hear it from the crowd for the rest of the night. He caused that er earlier injury to the home team player, and they're not very happy with him. Centering feed! He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! St. John's has won the draw. They take possession in the neutral zone. And there's the whistle icing the... First steps, first words, and in this particular case tonight, Ray, 
first win with his EASHL club, or at least his new one anyway. Well, you could see from his reaction, James, how much this means to him. I mean, you're always nervous when you go to a new team. You want to fit in. You want to you want to be part of the group. Well, the best way, the quickest way to be part of the group is to do something on the ice that helps out.
told, I know something you don't know. Story so tin, so tin, gold, blinded by the same old show. I don't know what you've been told, I know something you don't know. Story so tin, so tin, gold, blinded by the same old show. Perspex menagerie torn at the seams, a gap full of stallions all on the... Lighthouse lunatic shot full of... Radio rental, there's gonna be tears. Wait, don't look now, it's cauliflower ears. Stained glass, burgundy veneers. Love's a round mate, love's a Barney. They go f***ing Barney. It's all the same bad faith on a tear up. Straight out the paddock, man bun got the hair up. Long face, living mad rolls are paired up. Both in a race about to jump the staff. They ain't happy with it, it's not Wonderbar. Sit down to Palava while we empty, we empty. So many stories you couldn't grasp. Watch everything change when they don the mask. Trust
Welcome, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski to this EA Sports Showdown, and we are fired up. Let's drop the puck already. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Cyclones start with possession as we are now underway. Maintains possession. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Quick pass to Boomer. Cincinnati's got the puck against the half wall. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Two on one. Cincinnati's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. With the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Estes. The 360 with the puck. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Angles it over to Outlaw. Takes it to the net. Scores! Well, quickly the road team gets an upper hand here. Always a little more uncomfortable for the home team when they have to play from behind. Peorius looked like the more aggressive team, and for good reason now with the lead. Now they've got that lead, they can play with the pace that they want to. They can really control how this game is played. The Rivermen have gained possession off the wall. Here's an odd man rush. There is a charge. Guess they didn't need that power play. I guess not. They were really attacked the front of the net. They beat the goaltender, and now they'll lose the power play, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Take the goal. That's just a minute between goals. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Peoria's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Puck grab by Little. Good hit on the play. Pass broken up. Little's got something bothering him here. Break away! some big numbers here. I mean, that was a pretty cool deal when I scored my 400th goal. It felt like a success number to my career, and that's what he'll feel like, too. This is a really big number to achieve. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Gets the puck in deep. Peoria has got him along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Little. And now it's grabbed by Estes. Gaining momentum up along the side. Picked up along the wall by Carson. He scores! One goal! There's another one that's two goals in just under two minutes. Look at this, a comeback completed here, and we got a new game. That was a comfortable lead not very long ago. Moves it to Estes. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. On the left side, he moves it up ahead. Peoria's got the puck along the wall. Here's a pass down low. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Oh, what a chance. Oh, oh, you get one, you want to think about a second one. It doesn't matter if you're at home or on the road. When you do this on the road, you feel a great accomplishment. And there's the one hat that he gets for scoring on the road. Well past the midway mark of this period, Peoria's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Taken by Carson. Sends it in deep. And now he tries to get it across to Guzman. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Picked up along the boards by Guzman. And he slides it quickly to Outlaw. One-time shot. 
to that, he's starting to generate some better chances. Here, this shot hits the goalpost, but James, it doesn't bounce for them. They still trail in the game. The Cyclones get a hold of the puck along the boards. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Not a great time for that penalty to show up here. You only got a one goal lead, and you better hope as you sit there, your penalty killers do the job. Gretzky's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Let's see what the officials are calling. That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead, now you've got to defend it short of man. Cincinnati's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Denies him on a slapper. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Estes will look to win possession here on the face off and try to continue this power play on the right note. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Cincinnati's got the puck in the corner. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Here's a short pass to Carson. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Gets it out of his own end. Puck exits the zone. Fiori has gained possession. The Cyclones have it against the wall. Passes over to Boomer. The Cyclones played along the wing. Gretzky's time is almost done. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Cyclones can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game. You earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Picks up the puck in his own end. Vibes got it on the offensive end. Fiori has got possession of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Little. Slides the puck over. Gretzky's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Little. Shot denied by the puck stopper. It's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count as the whistle goes before the puck went in. Here in the late goings of the period, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Answered the call there. Cincinnati's got it in their own zone. And a little body contact on that play. Getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice. James Sabalski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's poked away by Little. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Estes. Ooh, that doesn't go well. He was locked in there. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. Peoria's got it now. 
The Rivermen have the puck in the open ice. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Trying to get 2Q with it and loses possession. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. Takes the puck. Moves it to the middle. Into the corner now. Great chance. Oh. And no. That's a race to the post. That was a good score. There's his first in the new colors. Always good to get on the board to show that you're able to help your new team. You want to show them that you're ready to play. He's on the board. He'll feel better now. We're halfway to 1,000 with this guy here. That was his 500th career goal in the EASHL clubs. That one he's going to be proud of for a long time to come. Can't be good. Puck picked up by Estes. The Rivermen have possession along the boards. Here's a chance. What a shot he misses. James, you don't get many chances to set up the one T like this. He powders this thing, but he misses the net. Look, you're trying to get back in the game. He needs to get that puck on the net. And that's just out of reach. Now he takes it over the line. Puck scooped up by Bob. It felt like they were going to break through eventually. They've had the puck, as you mentioned, James, a lot. Now they get a goal. Quick feed to Bob. Goes right to the crease. The Rivermen have the puck in their own zone. Fires it. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. And he takes the pass. There's the whistle as the play was offside. More than half the period has expired. The Cyclones make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Fiori has got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Gretzky's got it against the boards. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Little's got it behind the net. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And they send it down the ice. Officials are set. Players seem ready for ready to get this thing back underway. Little's won it in their own end. Fiorius got a hold of it against the wall. Here he comes. In on a breakaway. Oh, scores. What a counter punch. Wow, that didn't take very long. After giving up a goal, they get right back onto the attack. Fiorius got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. And he moves it up to five. Fiori has gained possession along the boards. Oh, look at this! Oh, that's a fail! Yeah, he makes a good play here, but just can't get the puck on the net. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. That's the most dangerous chance you're going to face. In the slot, eye to eye, and he makes the glove stop. In the final moments of this period, Fiori has really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And a big time save on a big time shot. Wait, wait, no, it's in. It's in the net. It's in the net. Cincinnati's got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up. They're loud. They're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. Dunks it in. Taken along the wall by Vibe. Can't find his man. Moves the puck along the half wall. From behind the net. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Denies him in close. They score! Oh, I don't think this is going to count, James. Look how quickly the official waved that off. The show must go on here. Here we go with a face-off. Nice job tying up his...
his opponent. Great reach with the poke check. Is there a danger of being complacent now late in the period? It's not complacency. The danger is that you start to defend and you sit back and give them one chance that might make this a one-goal game. Answer the call on that play. the period to an end all right third period just around the corner we'll get a clean sheet of ice i'm gonna get more popcorn and we're coming back with much more next He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski, and we are ready to get this third period going. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Once again, I'll send it back down. He scores! But don't turn this one off yet! Well, you better not. We're still here. We're here. You got to be here, too. Oh, he's money close to the net. Pucks on his stick, pucks off his stick, and it's in the net with the accurate shot. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Cincinnati's got the puck along the wall. Fails to find the open man. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Too much traffic in the lane. Slides the puck across to five. Centering P. from the home crowd. They're all over him. They don't want to see any more of his action. And he coughs it up with the pass. The Cyclones get a hold of the puck. Cincinnati's going to play from the corner.
Littles won the draw here in the offensive zone. Heads to the back of the net. The Cyclones gain possession along the wall. Here's a chance! And the Lance clogged up blocking that. Cincinnati's got a hold of the puck. And no luck on that pass attempt. Boomers This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Cincinnati's won the face-off. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Little. The Cyclones take possession in the defensive end. Offside the call will get a reset. won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. And he slides it quickly to outlaw. There's a solid collision. Plus, save! Quick reflexes! A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face-off. Cincinnati's won the draw. And that goes off a player. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Oh, he skips into the line of fire and blocks that. Shot! Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Fiore has won the face off deep in their own end. And now he moves it to Little. And he takes the dish. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Sends it in front. The shot. Gets in the lane with the body. Final minute to go here in the third.
Power, and we've seen this act before, Razor. You get in that close, and he's got the puck. Good night. He doesn't miss from there. Peoria has answered back here late in the third. Huge third period goal to tie things up. They've really worked hard and deserved this spot in the game. Now we'll see at even. The coaches really shorten their bench out and start double shifting guys. From the point, they take control of it. Moves it to five. The Cyclones take it along the wall. And that's blocked from someone in front. Nice zone entry from the middle. Lead pass ahead. Couldn't complete the play. And it's a quick pass to Boomer. Cincinnati's got it in their own zone. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. And they continue to apply pressure here. Cincinnati's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Estes. Here he is all alone, right in the open ice. And there's the buzzer bringing regulation time to an end. Still tied up. We've got overtime in moments. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski here in the broadcast booth. They are ready to drop the puck on OT. All right, get your sudden death OT pools going. Get your social... Scores! The overtime winner! And we'll put this one to bed!